These are the Pioneer Mountains of central Idaho, one of the highest mountain ranges in the central portion of Idaho. Some of these peaks reach over 12,000 feet, such as uh, Hindman Peak there in the far distance. Um, these mountains are pretty spectacular, um, and a lot of the landscape here has to do with glaciers. And so glaciers occupied these high mountain peaks during the last ice age and carved out these big troughs, these big U-shaped valleys um, that formed the dramatic scenery behind me here. So you can see one to my left, another to my right, and kind of a, a narrow ridge line forming sort of a, a horn almost here at the far end. And so you can sort of envision glacial ice filling most of that, that valley there. And it was actually the work of the ice gouging across the rocks that actually carved out these deep troughs here. You can see that the ice stripped the uh, material all the way down to bedrock. There's a lot of bedrock and smooth bedrock at that along the far um, deep sections of these canyons here up in the Pioneer Mountains. Uh, so really a jagged and uh, rugged type of uh, landscape here similar to other mountain ranges in Idaho, but we can get a sense for you know, how much snow and ice formed uh, by how extensively deep these, uh, these uh, canyons are. We're on the west side of the Pioneer Mountain, so you can imagine that the east side, which is more protected from the sun, would probably have even more extensively deep U-shaped canyons and more glacial landforms. Uh, the pioneers are also noteworthy because they have a pretty unique geologic history. A lot of the rock that we see here uh, making up the, the, the heart of the Pioneer Mountains, these are metamorphic and igneous rocks that are about 2.6 billion years old. These are some of the oldest rocks, not just in Idaho, but in much of the Western United States. These are what we sometimes call the basement rocks, the rocks that would be normally be way, way, way down beneath our feet, buried by all other rocks uh, that came after them. We only see these basement rocks in a few locations in the West, such as the Grand Canyon, where erosion has cut deep enough to reveal them, or in places like the Pioneer Mountains, where there's been enough uplift by faulting that's exposed these rocks at the surface. So these rocks here, these gneisses, metamorphic gneisses and granites uh, forming the Pioneer Mountains, were actually brought to the surface by low angle normal faults that slowly lifted uh, these rocks up while the overlying rocks slid off the top to lower elevations. Uh, pretty spectacular. And we can actually get a small sense uh, along the trail here. I saw one little bit of evidence that, that lets us know that faulting's taken place here. Um, it's not spectacular and it's subtle, but if we look, if we look right here at this small face of rock, uh, and I know it's quite small, um, we can actually see some a very polished surface. As I rub this with my thumb, um, it's very smooth, almost like it's a countertop or something like that. And if we look a little more closely, we can see some striations on it. And so this is evidence of a small fault, obviously not uh, at the same scale as the large faults that brought those basement rocks up, but this just lets us know a little bit about the faulting in the area. Also over here, we can see a, a section of rock where there's chunks of rock uh, embedded in it. And so this is sometimes called a fault breccia. This is where the rocks have been ground up along the fault as there's earthquakes that rub the rocks past each other. The rocks get pulverized and ground up and broken into fragments here. So uh, pieces in the fault zone of fault breccia and then an actual fault plane itself. These are what we call slicken sides or slicken lines, the lines that cut across here. Um, Pretty cool, right there along the trail uh, up here in the Pioneer Mountains. So again, spectacular scenery uh, caused by extension and uplift to create these big mountains, and then later modified by glaciers, snow which fell on the peaks year after year, accumulated into ice, and then that ice, once it was sufficiently massive enough, sliding down under its own weight and gravity to carve this beautiful landscape here uh, in the Pioneer Mountains of central Idaho.